What's up, everyone? Ryan here with another how-to video. We're going to be doing the oil pan on a 2002 Subaru Impreza wagon. Now, a lot of people will rely on seating these pans with silicone. No, you want to make sure you get a factory gasket plus silicone. <clears throat> That's the best way to go about doing it. So, there's the new stuff. Now we come over here, and uh, here's our hardware, which consists of some things we need, some things we don't. Uh, I tried to cut a corner to make things easier, and it didn't quite work out. So, essentially, these bolts right here, I'll, I'll find you one right here. This one right here, that's all nice and clean. And then this one right here is all nasty, all right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and since I don't want to replace them with brand new ones, I'm going to clean them up. Now, what I use to do this is a pair of vice grips to be safe, because I don't want to be putting my hands where I don't want them to be. Get a good tight grip on it. Turn your wheel on. And as you can see, this is the difference it makes. Look at that. Shiny like a baby hiney. You actually see threads. A lot of them too will have silicone right here on the tip, which is a pain in the ass, but whatever. Now, come out here. Get underneath the beast. <clears throat> so, what I'm gonna use here is brake clean and scotch bright. All that old gasket material on there needs to come off. So I'm gonna soak her down with some brake cleaner here. Take this scotch bright and just like sandpaper, I'm gonna start rubbing and scrubbing. And as you can see, some of this stuff is already making its way off there. Oh, let's try some more here. <laughs> Getting a little bit in my mouth there, it's kind of nasty. Anyway, see how that cleans up a lot nicer? So essentially the process to get this out is kind of a pain um, you have to come over here see this big fat bushing right here and this set of threads right there there's one on this side and there's one on the other side and they're the motor mounts they are 14 millimeters um, you're gonna need a mid-sized deep well sometimes you're gonna have an issue trying to get it in between this exhaust here so you need to get them out and you're going to need to lift the motor to get these back four 10 millimeters out. Now there's no way to get around that. As you can see I lowered this cross member here and there's just no way to get past it. So essentially <laughs> you got to pick the motor up. It just it is what it is. So once you're all ready to go you got to get the motor a little ways in the air, put your gasket on your pan, seat it on there with some silicone get this area all cleaned up and then just plop her on there torque your bolts in and then you're gonna have to lower the motor back down you can do it with a cherry picker or a jack and then you put your motor mount nuts back on and you're good to go I mean it's actually a much easier process than a lot of people make it out to be so I don't know why everybody's crying and whining about it so much 
I'd rather do this than a set of head gaskets on one of these piles of shit. Um, and then your oil pickup, you're going to have these two bolts here, they're 10 millimeters as well, along with the ones around the outside. And then there's one here for the bracket for the pickup, it's also a 10 millimeter. So all you're working with is 10s and 14s. That's it. And you're good to go. And like I said, make sure it's got a nice clean seat. Make sure it seals right or you're just going to run into a handful of problems. Um, also jacking up the motor, be careful with the uh, exhausts here. Um, there's really not a lot of room. Uh, right here we're not making any contact, but on this side I noticed it was starting to pick up this line a little bit when we were lifting it. Just be careful. Don't put too much tension on something that can't handle it and break something. Um, just be safe and pay as much attention as you can to detail. Uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of me. Um, you can add me on Facebook, uh, Ryan Hoschel. Uh, subscribe. Let me know.